Thank you very much, as he sneaks out the side door. The first person we're going to have speak with, speak tonight is our graduating student. Every year we invite graduating students to apply for the honor of being the last lecturer. And we have a few members of the committee here tonight who can attest to the fact that it's not really an easy process. We make it a little bit difficult, we make them work to get here. And we do it at a time in the semester, unfortunately, when there's midterms and reading weeks on the way. You all know that feeling of being ready to get off campus, but then you have this deadline. And it's self-imposed because they choose to apply, because they want to be here. This year, we feel that we have a candidate who exemplifies a lot of what all of you do as well. There's somebody who is open, determined, passionate, and generally just an all-around fantastic person. And that's what we feel about all of you. And so I'm very pleased to present our class of 2010 student lecturer, Izzy Hergy. Hello to the graduates of 2010. Bonjour. Hola. Aloha. Ciao. Jambo. Namaste. Salam. Konnichiwa. Ni hao ma, annyeong, vanakam. Did I miss anyone? And finally, I'd like to bring in a voice to represent all those who cannot represent themselves, as Jane Goodall does. The call of the wild chimpanzee to represent the rest of the animal kingdom. This is a demonstration of the enormous diversity of our graduating class and the enormous diversity of the world that awaits us. Oftentimes, diversity is seen as a weakness, a dividing element, a cause for hatred and strife. We see this in religious wars, cultural wars, civil unrest, the list goes on. However, in Canada, we have learned to embrace diversity, to learn from one another and to use our differences as strengths and dynamic mechanisms for positive change. We are all ambassadors of this pluralistic society, and it is our duty to share this knowledge with the world, spreading the message of peace and hope. Life is truly a gift that has been bestowed upon our world. No matter your belief system, there is a life-sustaining force that flows through each and every living being on this planet. In particular, we have been given anywhere up to 100 years to be alive, to savor every moment, and to make a difference in the world. Every day is an opportunity to do something great, even if it is just making someone else smile. We all have different futures, but no matter where your future takes you, the important thing is to make the most of it. We may not all become doctors, emergency relief workers, world leaders, CEOs, or the like, but we will definitely have an important role to play in the world and the lives of those around us. Remember, we should never discount the contributions of candy shop owners, shoemakers, and amusement park operators, to say the least. Looking back on our few years here, we have truly been given a gift. It has been stated that around 1% of the world's population has a post-secondary education. So we are a rare bunch indeed. Education is knowledge, and knowledge is powerful. Through academic education, extracurricular activities, social involvement, local and international travel, and personal development, we have grown from children into youth with passions, motivations, success stories, ideas, and of course, knowledge. Being in science has taught me the value of knowledge in the sense that no matter how much we know, we will never know enough. And nothing that we think we know do we actually know. This is the framework which propels academic growth, expanding the wealth of our intellect and global influence. Knowledge is special in that it can be spread and it can instill a force for change within those who need it the most. Unlike cake, where everyone gets a small piece when you share, knowledge is remarkable in that it multiplies simply by sharing. Quote, 
there are those who enter the world in such poverty that they are deprived of both the means and the motivation to improve their lot. Unless these unfortunates can be touched with the spark that ignites the spirit of individual enterprise and determination, they will only sink back into renewed apathy, degradation, and despair. It is for us who are more fortunate to provide that spark. This is a quote by the Aga Khan, and it embodies the very message I would like to convey to you. It is us who are fortunate, but with fortune comes great responsibility. And I know that sounds like a quote by Uncle Ben from Spider-Man, but it is this wisdom that I would like to impart to you, my fellow classmates today. I came into university with the intention of learning, as we all did, but I'm sure the large majority of us also saw it as an opportunity to fulfill that societal demand of obtaining a degree, to escape from home, to party like wild animals, although I'm not sure even wild animals party as much as university students, and to meet friends and companions that would define our time here. However, somewhere in those approximately four years, we learned about real issues that affect students around us and the world at large. We learned about our ability to be part of a global youth movement and our responsibility to care about the issues which matter to us. We learned that the decisions people make today are going to affect our lives in 50 years and that of our children and the generations to come. And most of all, we learned that we have a voice, an influence, and the ability of youth to think that we're invincible. <laughs>